Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Um, I, I started, I did this the first time, and I was over there-ish, on the other side of my living room. Anyway, um, my fan is blowing over there, it's kind of noisy, and it was really dark, and I was like, God, it's so irritating, because the lighting over there sucks. So, and I also realized I was really close to the camera, I was like, right here. So, <laughs> so to avoid looking like a crappy horror film, I've moved to where I have light. Um, I've also moved in front of my rat cage here, and I've done this on purpose. <laughs> um, I was going to clean my rat cage tonight, but I decided I'm going to do it in the morning, because it's cooler in the morning, and I don't want to do it tonight. Fair enough. So, um, anyway, I, uh, so here I'm sitting, and I, um, I, I originally, my first video I recorded, uh, was about my new addiction, which I, I think I'm going to have to do that one again, but briefly, um, I have a new addiction, nail polish. Um, <laughs> this color I have on right now is, um, Dream On. It's a, a sinful colors, and that's the purple color, purple pinkish, I guess. There, and um, it's one of the colors my sister got me for my birthday. And I put uh, Hard Candy's um, black tie optional over the top of it, and that is like a, a I like to call it a splatter top coat. It's got like um, hexagons and lines and stuff, and they're all black and white. It's really snazzy. And then my thumbs have these little butterflies and flowers and rhinestones. It's really fancy. But, um, <laughs> so I absolutely love this color. And I learned a new skill today. Uh, it's important to learn something every day. I learned how to sculpt nails with builder gel, which, um, I don't use acrylics anymore. Uh, I use UV gel. And, oh, I'm so glad I do. Um, it has helped my natural nails grow out so much. And, um, it's a lot more durable too, like it, it, it flexes a little more, like you can hear it, it flexes a little bit more, um, and when it breaks off it doesn't take your nail with it, which is nice. Like acrylic hurts really bad. So, um, yeah, and uh, so I actually built these. Um, there's no, uh, like you see how long they are? There's no um, tips on this, there's no um, like fake nail, like uh, the, the white tips or the full cover or anything like that. This is all built out of gel and uh, it took me a long time to do it, unfortunately. It took me almost all day, but um, I finally did it and I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, and I did it because I ran out of tips and I was like, damn. And the only full covers I had left were ovals and I hate ovals, so I, I did this. Um, and what's really cool about this is, um, I don't know how many of you know this, but on this finger right here, I actually don't have a fingernail, like naturally. Um, it's, it's the nail bed and, um, the materials that, I can't remember the name of the material for building fingernails. Um, the, anyway, the, the material for building fingernails is there, but it's not a fingernail. It, um, it grows up and it doesn't really grow out. Uh, there's no actual cuticle there, uh, so there's no sidewalls to set the nail down into. Um, so I don't actually have a fingernail there. I just have this like weird, um, rough, bumpy pattern that's kind of jagged. And uh, so I, I have to file it down sometimes and, and whatnot. It doesn't hurt or anything, it's just there. Um, but anyway, I, I usually what I have to do is um, I put the gel on it and like the next day I have to glue the gel back on, you know, like because it doesn't stick because it's trying to stick to skin and um, and gel doesn't stick to skin. So I was really careful this time and I, I, I did um, I did a pretty good job actually and um, and other the other options I have are um, I, I'll put like a full cover nail there um, and I'll just keep it glued on and that works pretty good. I'm sorry my nose is running. And, uh, anyway, so that works pretty good, but I was like, I'm really tired of gluing it on because when they break off, the glue rips, you know, a, a layer off. And that, that's a little uncomfortable. Um, but with this, this is cool. This is, um, I, it looks like a normal everyday fingernail now, and I, I don't know how to take that. Like, I've never had a fingernail hair since I was like three, I think. Was I three? I think I was three. Or, no. 
I was 18 months old when that fingernail went away. So, yeah, I haven't had one since I was, like, 18 months old. So, it's really weird to have a fingernail now. <laughs> uh, but, so I've got these beautiful fingernails and I love them. And I love my sister for buying me beautiful, flashy nail polish colors, like this one. Um, turns out this one is actually a matte finish, which I'm okay. I'm iffy on matte finishes still. I haven't played a lot with them, so I don't really know what I like and what I don't like about them. But if you put a clear coat over them, it doesn't matter. It still comes out shiny. So, um, yeah, there's that. And, um, so I have a spot on my glasses. It just bothered me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, okay. Uh, now that I've blabbed on for five and a half minutes, uh, let's, let's get to the fun part here. Let me see if I can do this. Um, I, I don't know how to get my camera to focus is the problem I'm having. So if you can see this here, this, oh, it's over there. This is my rat cage. And it doesn't look like much from this angle, but it's huge. Like, and I think I've showed it to you guys before. It's like really huge. Hey guys. And, um, in case you missed that video, it used to be a dog kennel for like Great Danes. And this, this is what I keep in there. <laughs> this is Mario. Say hi, Mario. Um, he's my second to youngest. Second to oldest brother, sorry. Technically, he's a middle child now. Um, because I lost Dimitri. He died of cancer, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, he's, he's about two years old now. This, this is Vincent. He's a dwarf. Uh, he's a, a, a Dumbo rat. And um, the other two are fancy rats. So he's got these really big ears. And he's really cute. Like, look at those ears. How could you not love these ears? And he's a big old sweetheart. He, he likes to groom me. And, and then over here, here's Patty. This big moose of a rat. This, hi Luigi. This is Luigi. He's, he's almost three. And he is my grumpy old man, my baby. And he's, he's, he's actually losing all his hair on his back, and I don't know why. But yeah, he's, um, he's my grumpy old man. Right now, he doesn't really understand why I'm holding him like this. But yeah, I am. Um, so I. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I have to make sure I close that or they will escape. And there's a small dog whining over there by the door because he wants to play with the rat. And that doesn't go well. So, yeah, no fighting. And they're already fighting. Um, but yeah, those are my fat babies. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, and I need to clean their cage. It's pretty dirty right now. Otherwise, I would put the camera in there and show you guys. But um, yeah, it, it no, it's too dirty. Um, also, I keep looking off this way because um, the uh, what's shooting is on the screen and I want to make sure everything's staying in focus I guess I don't know I just don't like to look right at the camera so yeah um, okay I feel like I've talked so fast like my face hurts from exercising my mouth like it's <laughs> legitimate concern uh, okay so uh, Hmm. That was a rat fight. Um, that was Mario and Vincent. They fight a lot, but they're just playing. It looks worse than it is. And stop it! Stop it! So yeah, that's yeah. They they're just fighting. I don't know why. Um, probably because they're unfixed males. I don't know if you could see them right there behind me here. This this is them here and they're fighting. They're out of focus, but yeah, that's what just made all that ruckus. So yeah, that happened a lot. I think I figured out why my picture is not so clear, by the way. Because all my computer doesn't look very clear. But it's supposed to be recording in HD, and I think it's because my lens is dirty. It looks kind of dirty, and it wouldn't surprise me if it was. Um, 
Okay, so this one's actually going to be uploaded. The last one I made, not so much. It didn't come out good. Uh, too dark, etc., etc., etc. So this one's going to be uploaded. So enjoy 10 minutes of me blabbing like a fool. Because that's what I just did. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to try to get back to this more regularly. I've got uh, finals this week, so don't expect another one this week. Um... <laughs> But I'm taking next week off of school, so I should I should be able to do one next week. I don't see why not. Um, oh, my nose is ridiculous. Um, okay. So. Yeah. I'm going to take care of all this videoing stuff. I'm going to go to bed because it's um, just shy of midnight. And I have to get up at 7 so I can get my daughter on the bus. And then once she gets on the bus, I have to come back down here and clean this giant cage because it's really dirty. Um, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, okay. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. And, and hopefully this all works out okay. So, um, yeah. Bye, everyone. I hope... I hope this is okay. Um, I'm going to put in the title to turn your volume up because I know that you actually can't hear this very well. Um, I still don't know where my microphone is. I think I think it's right there-ish. I think it's on this side over here. I'm not, I don't know. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm going to go look that up too. I should probably do that. Alright, so I'm going to upload all this, take care of everything. I'll get back to you guys soon. Um, turn up your volume. Enjoy. Uh, uh, I, I hate ending these videos. I don't understand how people do it. I, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go now. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye.